I just cannot believe this. I... I can't. So, okay, we're in Spa, and it's raining, as you can see. And this guy's coming in to, uh... change those tires. Nothing wrong so far. But watch. Okay, it's slippery. He's on slick tires, so yes, that's completely normal. Oops, he hit the wall. And now he's plucking everyone's way who are coming in for the same thing as he is. And because there's no room, he's forced to reverse. And this is absolutely hilarious to watch, to say the least. Not only is he plucking everyone's way, but he simply cannot move. And now he decides to actually drive backwards. But then, eventually... Wait for it. It resets him back to the track. And okay, now he has to drive a full lap before he can pit again. But the thing is... As we went one lap further... Further in time... This is when he should be pitting again. Like, attempting to pit again, because he missed that pitting entirely, but... He chooses to carry on. And... This is quite... Quite frankly, uh, bizarre. Let me go one more lap further... And he's still not pitting. Just dealing with these conditions on his worn slick tires. When it's two bars of wetness on the rain meter there. And um, yeah, one might be wondering what's going on right now. And oh, he spun here actually. Because of the conditions. And okay, let's go forward in time. Now's as good as time as any to pit, but uh, it's gonna take a little while because he's out of fuel as well. But you might see where this is going by now. He chooses not to pit. Even though he's almost out of fuel. Like he still has plenty, but he's going slowly just to uh, go a greater distance in the long run. And then we go one more left forward. Okay, I have to skip a bit forward. And then he's gonna have a moment here. It seems like he's gonna pit, finally, now that he's out of fuel of all things. Then he loses the car and then he is forced to carry on. And then he spins again. As if his race wasn't already... Um, I don't even know what, just plain sad and everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Now he has to wait for the traffic to go by and then he finally turns it around and goes for another lap as soon as he can. But yes, he's now out of fuel so he cannot go faster than 80 kilometers per hour. As soon as he runs out of fuel, that is. Not quite yet. But now he does. And, yeah. So he hasn't pitted. And it's lap 11. And we're halfway done with the race. But the thing is, he won't pit for the reminder of the whole race. That's the thing that's going on here. And I frankly cannot believe this. This is <laughs> absolutely mind-blowing on how bad the AI is. He missed his opportunity to pit when he, you know, spun on the pit lane entry and ultimately didn't get his pit stop, but he didn't pit on the same, I mean, the next opportunity and so on. And now he's gonna finish the race on 80 kilometers per hour. And there's still half an hour more running, so he's gonna have a long way to go and it's gonna feel a long way because he's going so slowly. 
we skip one lap forward. Yeah, it's this bug again where we cannot skip the lap. This feature is broken. But either way. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna go back to where we left off. Him just crawling here. So we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way and break our thumb. Button meshing. So we're just gonna go through this real quick because, yeah. The race is just too long to wash otherwise. But he's, he's never gonna pit. And he's gonna be like this until the end of the race. And yeah. This is some amazing AI programming right here. So apparently, once he misses the uh, scheduled pit stop, he's not gonna do it for the reminder of the race. And it's weird because, okay, if you have fuel then you can carry on, but you have worn tires and they're the wrong tires for the, well, for that time, the weather, but he's out of fuel, so he's gonna be doing 80 kilometers per hour. Of course, in real life you would never be able to carry on once you run out of fuel. Well, you might have a reserve tank, but even that will last forever, so... Because the game is pitying you and giving you a chance, and this poor soul right here, he's gonna finish the race like this. And I also love the AI because they are too scared to make a move. Like, I get it, there's only a dry line forming, but yeah. Should be more brave than that. And, uh, okay, skipping forward a bit more. And there's me, leading, not leading, but third. And I was just thinking that, okay, he's just letting me go by because he's lapped, but by now he's obviously more than lapped. I wish I could check the entire replay, but that's gonna take way too long, so... But you get the idea now. Same stuff. Nothing's changed. And now he's having a moment with the AI here. This is another thing that bugs me, by the way. Apart from the bugs, is that uh, they're terrible at blue flags. Some some drivers actually do respect the blue flags quite well. Even if they don't move out of the way, they still slow down. But some AI, they drive like normal. They pretty much ignore blue flags. So the AI have um, their own personalities, but Wilk's personality is lobotomy, I guess. He has no idea how racing works, or how fuel consumption or fuel as a concept works in your car with a combustion engine. And going forward a bit more. Yeah, still crawling, as you might expect. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious how these trains form and of course I'm never seeing this because I'm always on the other side of the track somewhere but now we're going backward to lap one for some lap 10 for some reason but this feature works a lot better if you follow your own car but yeah going into the last lap here and Wilk is still doing his thing this is where I noticed that something was wrong because we have this huge drain that I'm about to catch up to. And this is what ultimately made me save the replay because this drain, I didn't understand what was going on. I was like, okay, guys are out of fuel maybe? But uh, yeah, this guy has been out of fuel for... Well, in from his point of view it's lap 16, but obviously for me it's lap uh, 23. Then we had another one join the fray. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Mendoza up in second. You know, he's following me. And he didn't slow in time. Absolutely hilarious. 
And Wilk is still holding up people. And yeah, obviously when I finished the race. And by the time the uh, clock ran out as well. This is the last lap for Wilk and thank god. What a race it was for him and um... This is the worst AI I've seen. Par none. Like this is absolutely just... I'm, I'm speechless. Nothing else to say here. I'm going to keep this replay and maybe study it later, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just speechless. Let me know what you guys think. Have you run into this broken AI before? If you have, do let me know. I thought the AI wasn't that bad in the game, but this changed my mind.